Ancient Egyptian healthcare was awesome. The Egyptians had dentistry, surgery, and pharmacology. They also had written records, so we know about it. They were probably the first to separate different medical fields. Herodotus wrote about Egyptians. In 450 BC, the practice of medicine is so divided among them that each physician is a healer of one disease and no more. All the country is full of physicians, some of the eye, some of the teeth, some of what pertains to the belly, and some of the hidden diseases. Medical practice was intertwined with magic. It was rigidly prescribed by the hermetic books of Thoth. Deviating from the rules was prohibited. If the patient died, the physician was executed. The patient had four days to get better. If they didn't, the physician was allowed to modify the treatment. Egyptian surgery was very advanced. In fact, Egyptians used instruments similar to ours. They had scalpels, forceps, and scissors. Splints were made of reeds, tied together by strips of linen. They sutured and cauterized wounds. Plaster was used to set fractures. It consisted of linen, soaked in a sticky material. Egyptians also knew psychology. Ramesseum, Pharaoh Ramesses's library, was called the healing place of the soul. The patient had to write down their complaints in a letter. The letter was addressed to dead relatives. They were supposed to provide guidance. Dentistry was another medical field where Egyptians excelled. Surgically produced holes for draining an abscess were found in a mummy. The mummy had teeth joined together by a golden wire. Some Egyptian drugs were pretty weird. Constipation was treated by berries from the castor oil tree. The concoction prescribed for headaches included inneravunion, fruit of the am tree, natron, set seft seeds, bone of the swordfish, cooked, redfish, cooked, skull of crayfish, cooked, honey, and abroidment. Some of the recommended treatments used cannabis. The Egyptians also used animal feces and even some metals as treatments. Mashed and blended dead mice were made into a poultice. This was applied to treat toothaches. Crocodile dung was used as a female contraceptive. Egyptian physicians were aware of the existence of the pulse. They even understood its connection to the heart. However, blood circulation was a mystery to them. Instead, Egyptian physicians believed in channels. These were blood vessels, nerves, and tendons. Egyptians thought they carried dare, water, and blood. The human body was likened to the River Nile. If the river became blocked, crops became unhealthy. If a person was unwell, laxatives were required to unblock the channels. Mummification and autopsy were religious practices, but they gave Egyptians a vast knowledge of anatomy. They understood the functions of most major organs. However, they believed the heart was the mind. The brain, according to Egyptians, was the source of life blood. Still, their medical science was the most advanced at the time. They even had prosthetics. The earliest physical evidence of an artificial appendage is Egyptian. It's the big toe of a girl in a priest's tomb from 1500 BC. The priest had replaced his daughter's toe with a fake one. It's made of wood and leather. 3,500 years later, it's the best preserved part of the body 